Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. The current temperature is around 23. I've got a sensor in the uh, shed, it's saying 23, but online it's saying the temperature is about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. I, I threw the other cozy that I had over the nukes, uh, took a look inside and uh, just sprinkled some sugar around the inner cover there. They were uh, located around the circle um, on the burlap. So I, I went in there real quick uh, I had put two frames of honey on the uh, right-hand side of that. It's a, they're five, five frame nukes. So I, I think they might have moved or they're at least getting the honey. But I'm a little concerned. We've had some single temperature, uh, single digit temperatures. And it, although it's warmed up today, it's going to go down to like one degrees again. And then I think maybe Wednesday it's going to be a high of 27, so I don't know if I should wait until Wednesday. But the problem is that the nuke boxes, the uh, honey super frames are smaller than uh, the nuke. They're shorter, so I don't think the bees would jump um, over that gap uh, from the bottom nuke box up into uh, the top if I had the honey in there. So I'm thinking of cutting down one of my nuke boxes. They're uh, 6 and 5 eighths. Um, in height. So I have the frames of honey here from um, the hive that failed. I've got all this honey, but they're the, the smaller frames. So the nuke box, I'd have to cut down to six and five eighths. And uh, I was thinking of making my own Vivaldi board, but then I realized that, well, the piece that I cut off, um, I could then use that on top. Right now, the top nuke box on, on the, uh, the nukes is just filled with burlap and some uh, foam insulation, a couple of pieces. So if I take that off real quick, and then put the cut down box on. I could then put these frames in, but then I want I want a little layer of insulation on top of this. So let's go over to the table saw. So I was thinking of starting something from scratch, but then I said, well, I have this. Why don't I just cut this down? Good thing I didn't. I took the handles off. It's a good thing I didn't glue them, so they came right off. Uh, but yeah, I've got the fence set up for six and five eighths, and I just ripped this box to the new, the, the new depth, the new height, and just make sure that these are on the right side. These you know, shelves that the frames sit on, sit in, and I can use this to put all those frames of honey that are just sitting there. Hopefully they will help the hive survive these single digit temperatures. So I'll measure twice, cut once. Six and five eighths. can take these frames. Let's see, there's a frame here. Honey on it. And they should fit right in. That 
actually it's the bottom one here that has complete frames both sides of honey Well, this is what I've done. I've I cut this nuke down so it can it can accommodate the uh, the uh, frames I have from the honey super, and I have this extra piece here, and I was going to order one, but I, I don't have time to wait. This is an inner cover I cut down to a nuke size, and I put this notch in. So what I'm thinking of doing oh. And then I cut this foam here that I'm going to put on and hopefully I cut this so that the inner cover will slide over this. Let's see they're made a little bit smaller. But um, yeah, I'll put this new cover, I'll put this inner cover here and that allows some ventilation. Now, I was reading online, I didn't think about this, I was thinking about uh, getting the moisture out, but the bees are giving off. CO2 also So you have to make sure you're venting out the CO2, but that's the plan. It's today because we're gonna have brutal cold coming in after this Storm did I mention we're having like 8 to 12 inches tomorrow? Uh, so uh, I didn't Maybe I don't know if I have time to put the pull cord on the snowblower I'd hate to, to mess with it now in case I mess something up just before the storm, but let's get this taken care of. I want to get the honey. I have the honey and uh, just want to put it in the hive there with these brutal temperatures we've been having. So there's a couple of dead bees out, but I don't see a lot. But I just looked in here real quick. See, I have this insulation on the inside too. I didn't think it was that. You know what? There is a difference. I had two pieces here with a space in between that allowed for some ventilation. See that? I haven't seen that in a while. So you can see this frost condensated, uh, the moisture is condensated on the inside of the box there. But uh, if I go in here, okay, no, that is sugar that I was, okay, no, that's just the sugar. Whew. I thought that was a whole bunch of frost, but the bees are not even touching the sugar there. I think there is moisture on the sugar. It looks very, very granular. Maybe it has absorbed a lot of moisture. But yeah, so I'm gonna take this top cover off and leave the inner cover on. And that way I won't be disturbing the bees. Actually, man, with my coat on, it actually feels warm. I haven't felt warmth in a while. It's actually a bee right here warming up. So the first thing I want to do is to take this cover off. This box. This one on. Have to take the burlap off, I guess.
I can start putting the frames of honey in if I can get these. Ah, oh, the breezes are picking up now. If I can get them off the burlap. Get this honey in there. Okay, you've got all the honey in there. There's one bee flying around. You better get back in there quicker. He's not going to make it. So now, put the inner cover back on for the new inner cover. I think I'll put this in here. So put this on. And I'll put some burlap. That on top. Put the cover on. Now I can seal it all up again. Make sure there's an entrance. All right, so that worked out. Hope that wasn't too stressful on them, but they've got five frames of complete, uh, completely filled with honey. And uh, hopefully they'll, they'll migrate to that. I was wondering if I should have warmed up the frames inside, but then I didn't want condensation forming if all of a sudden I brought them outside. So slowly, I guess they'll, they'll warm up. You can really feel the uh, warmth on those cozies. And then I have some tar paper I put on the top there to overlap so the snow doesn't go in between uh, the cozy and the hive. But I left the front open. You can see the bee cozy has a, a seam in the front and they don't have any insulation here so it sort of forms this pocket. So they've got the front, the, um, opening there on the top cover and on the inner cover and the one on the bottom and one in the middle but I can feel this warmth there so hopefully like I said they'll migrate to the honey and use it as needed but I left an inner cover I've got two inner covers I've got one on the top and then one in between the honey um, the, the new box I put on with the honey in it and below the inner cover where they were uh, accumulating so I don't know if they're gonna migrate and try to just take the honey as they can and go back down or where they'll eventually all go up to the honey frames but well, I'm glad that it's gonna be bitterly cold and 
windy when this storm goes through tomorrow so I think that was a good idea to put the honey in there I have it might as well put it in there I don't know how much syrup or honey that they had accumulated so hopefully that helps them survive so this is New England gardening uh, maybe I should set my sights on the uh, puller for the snowblower although I don't need it I've got the electric starter I don't want to mess anything up just before the storm Thanks for watching.